What's up guys, welcome to my channel, Triata Custom Engraving. Uh, my name is Max, and uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, I teach about rototool engravings. I started out with Yeti water bottles, and now I'm uh, trying different things, uh, like knives, guns, I got some, uh, I got a Glock slide coming in. Yeah, my buddy from uh, Instagram hit me up and say, hey man, you wanna try this out? I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it. So uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, in today's video, I'm going to be engraving this um, Arya Stark's dagger, uh, Cat's Paw. So if you uh, have watched the Game of Thrones series, uh, you would probably know what this is. Uh, this is the same dagger that Arya stabbed the Night King and killed him. So this uh, local customer uh, basically wanted to engrave a name on the blade and uh, personalize it for someone. So. Uh, that's pretty awesome, I think. Uh, pretty nice touch, and that person will be real happy. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. So, uh, yeah, let's jump right in and get started. All right, guys, so we got our blade here, and uh, this thing is kind of cool. It's got like an engraving on here. It says Arya's Blade, uh, Valerian Steel 0118, and it's one of 2,500. So that's real cool. But um, yeah, so my first step of engraving anything is coming up with a design, or uh, if somebody wants their name on there, I print it out to size and um, I measure things out. So I have a, look, a little ruler right here, or measuring tape, I should say, and I kind of see what the uh, measurements are and how long I want it to be and uh, in this case I have a name that I want to put on here uh, or a customer wants and uh, this is going to be for a drill sergeant uh, which is kind of cool I'm stationed in the uh, Virginia area so there's a lot of uh, military around this area I'm on uh, Coast Guard uh, active duty myself so yeah but uh, we're going to be transferring this over um, to the blade using carbon paper. Uh, I've used carbon paper for any of my projects. It's cheap. You can get it on Amazon for about five bucks and you can get like a hundred sheets or something like that. It's real cheap. But uh, that will be my next step is going to trace this over to the knife and then we'll go from there. All right, so for tracing the design, uh, I like to use mechanical pencil because you don't have to sharpen it. I'm also going to be using this pillow to support my blade. Uh, this one's a little bit elevated and it's easier to um, trace the design on and also engraving process is a little bit easier this way. I like to use my uh, pillow for support. Uh, if you support your hand on something, it's a lot easier than uh, not supporting your hand. Your hand gets tired over time, so um, I would definitely suggest something, a pillow or you can use a towel, whatever you have around the house. I'm gonna put this back on so I don't get stabbed. <laughs> and I'm also gonna put gloves on so I don't cut myself. That's the last thing I wanna do. <laughs> All right, so essentially you're just gonna do, trace this whole thing. And then uh, once that's traced, you take your uh, tracing paper off and then uh, that will reveal the design. It should look something like this. So. Just like that. So it's a little faint, but um, what I suggest doing is uh, saving this piece of paper and kind of putting it in front of you so you can reference it if something that you can't really tell or you didn't transfer over, you kind of can just look over to this and just like, oh yeah, okay, I, this extra line right here. So that, that's what helps me and uh, I'm sure it's gonna help you as well. All right, so for engraving, I'm gonna be using my uh, Fordham uh, K1060 micromotor uh, and then uh, 
I'm going to be putting it at uh, 25,000 RPM, which is already, that's where it's at. So 25,000 RPM, and I got a, uh, a tungsten carbide burr that I'm going to be using. Um, especially if you want to uh, engrave something like this uh, hard steel, uh, stainless steel or whatever. Uh, you don't want to use anything other than uh, tungsten carbide. If you use a steel burr, it's just not going to do anything. It's just going to scratch it. So uh, this is my uh, best approach to engraving some heart like this. You want to lubricate your burr uh, to prolong the life of your burr and also uh, make it easier on yourself uh, because this makes this uh, cut a lot better. And then definitely use some kind of hearing protection. Uh, here's mine. And also uh, you want to use some kind of safety glasses. So I must mention that uh, you don't want to go deep right away. You kind of want to trace your whole uh, design lightly. And then once you create some kind of like scratch or groove, then you can confidently go over all these uh, lines and make them a little bit deeper as you go. So I got the last name done. Well, not done, but first pass is done. And uh, I'm just gonna do the rest of the, uh, do the first name and uh, uh, drill sergeant. So I'm just gonna keep doing uh, the outlines. And as soon as that's done, I'm gonna start filling all those uh, letters in. All right guys, so the outline is complete, as you can see. So what's left to do is basically go over this outline and make it all deeper, deeper cuts so it can uh, stand out a little bit better. Now I was thinking to fill in all the areas uh, inside the letters. Uh, I will see what I, what I want to do after I do um, the outlines make it a little bit deeper and see how it looks and decide from there but as of right now I think I like the way this looks and uh, I think it'll look a little bit better once I do uh, all the cuts a little bit deeper so I'm gonna do that next So what makes this really cool is that uh, once you make your initial line, it's so much easier to make the second line and it makes it a little bit more confident. You know, you're not gonna weave off and 
engrave something else or scrape something. So um, definitely helps to make a light line, the outline, and then once you're um, ready to make it deep, you, know, you have a little bit more confidence. I think what makes it really difficult to engrave a knife or a blade is um, you don't really have anything to grab onto and it just wants to slide around. So patience and also uh, stability. You want to have that. If you don't, you're going to go like an ice skating ring and go everywhere. So you want to kind of lock yourself in and dedicate yourself. And then if you feel like you can't make that line, just stop, turn it around, and then try it again. You don't need to make it in one pass, you know, and that's how you mess up. Take your time and it will make it perfect. This is it guys. I really appreciate you watching this uh, whole video. Um, let me know what you guys think of the whole process and the whole video. Uh, did you like the style? Uh, you know, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and also if this is your first time here, my channel, uh, I appreciate you if you guys would subscribe and uh, also leave a comment. Also, I want to thank uh, Matt Cornelius for recommending this new camera that I got. I appreciate you, man. Uh, this is really upgrade for my channel, so uh, thanks, Brent. And uh, all right, guys. Well, I'll see you in the next one, and peace.